Now you talk about wine. I got some terms here. I want to I want to test you since you were in oh, a, you oh. were in uncorked. So oh. I, I I pulled out my book American I Wino. Collier, I did not. <laughs> If American Wino ever gets made, we're putting you in this movie now because you were in Uncorked. Um, all right, these are, I'm going to give you some wine production, basic terms about wine production, and you tell me what they mean, okay? We're going to see how, how All right, great here we go. <laughs> blending. Uh, like blending the grapes together? That's so. the act of mixing the wine. Act of mixing the wine. Okay. Yes, yes. Bottling. Bottling. Well, the act of bottling the wine. That's the act of putting the wine into, into a, a glass bottle. container. Yes. It was glass. easy. We're going, I, it, we're starting off easy here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, cold stabilization. I don't know. <laughs> what? I, I think this is what they do to Coors Light. I think this is what they do to Coors Light to make it taste like corn fed water. That's cold stabilization. All right. Okay. Cold, cold play. A, a band. That's the act behind such hits as Yellow and Clocks. All right, yeah, yeah sorry, you got it, yeah. Uh, De-stemming. The act of taking the stem off of a grape. That's one way of putting it. I, I described it in the book as the savage neutering of grapes. Don't think they won't come for you. Okay. Should I own these terms? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't do this. Uh, maceration. Macer sugar maceration sugar macerating wine like you ma like you like smash it and release some sugar well in the book i described it as the uh, pleasure pleasuring yourself to thoughts of pinot noir that's maceration what um pressing no no okay um yeah. <laughs> no. by the way i'm no. reading this by the way my this book american wino came out four years ago and i'm reading stuff now going Oh my God, like how much the world's changed? There's so <laughs> much, I'm reading this and going, I can't say that now. Like I'm gonna get canceled. I'm gonna get canceled if I say that. Like, so there's a term in wine called pump over and I wrote doing it missionary style, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> which, well, that's not enough to cancel me, but. Um, not, not bad in today's world. Well then, I, then racking, tell me if this would get me canceled. So I said pump over is doing it missionary style and in racking, okay. which is a real wine term, racking, it says, <laughs> An area you can hold on to while doing it missionary style. Is that, and that's not bad, is it? Come I, I, on. In this, yeah, in today's world, that would get you, yes, correct. That would well, then you. I also put a skin contact, which is a oh. term in wine. Skin contact is that thing that the HR department called you in about. Okay, there we go, all right. All right, we'll have some more of that wine, and let's, all right, here we go. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw out okay. some uh, wine term. Well, I'll just tell you the wine term. Okay. You don't have to guess these. So okay. there's one you'll hear, and this is an actual term people use, baby diaper. Have you ever heard this? No. Oh, yeah, people what? say they smells like baby. These are real wine terms, baby diaper. What, uh, what wine do you think smells like baby diaper? Like a deep red? No, no, as I wrote in the book. A oh. scent common to Chardonnay from Burgundy, where the delicate poo of French infants is often added to oak barrels during aging. It's true that is dense. True, yeah. That's actually very, that's, yeah, that's great. Um, let's see, diesel. You get diesel, you ever get that? People, I'll get a diesel smell. I have gotten that. You've heard that, right? Have you yeah. smelled diesel before when you've smelled wine? I've heard other people say that they smell diesel. It's not the first thing I think of, but I have heard that. I've heard people say, oh, I get a little bit of like oil, diesel, yeah. like licorice, yeah. you know. Well, I described it as a petrol like aroma often found in Rieslings from Australia and American street racing movie franchises, also known as Le Vin Diesel. Oh my God. This is, the, this is why I get paid all the money for the I comedy. I like flaws are like. <laughs> yeah. um, pencil lead, you've heard that, right? Yeah. Pencil lead to describe a wine. It's commonly associated with the red wines of Bordeaux. It's the number two most familiar wine scent in the world. Do you get that? Oh, do you get that? Oh, I get it. Number two Number pencil. Two, come on. <laughs> Sasha, stay with me here on this. Come on. All right. Um, They're just too good, man. They're just too good. <laughs> uh, rotten egg is redolent of that goddamn oh. low-life brother-in-law of yours. Dirty dishcloth. Have you ever gotten dirty dishcloth about no. wine? No. No. For right. what? Next time, try using a clean glass. Wet cardboard. Have you gotten wet cardboard? No. Oh. 
It's the UPS, the UPS guy dropped the box with your wine club delivery again. Come on, this is funny stuff. <laughs> um, Keep going, you uh, wild. Then you got a uh, wet dog, you got wet cardboard. The UPS guy dropped the box with your wine club delivery again. Then wet dog was he dropped it on top of your poor Shih Tzu. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. damn it. And then you got biscuity. Oh. Biscuity is like the treats you used to give your poor dead wine crust Shih Tzu. All right. So, okay, we've got, uh, that could be a mix of baby diaper, uh, shit something, and wet dog. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 